everybody. Welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Dinosaur Train. Buddy's play date. Buddy was looking off into the distance as Shiny explained the new rules of dinosaur hopscotch to her brothers and sisters. Buddy, are you even listening? Shiny asked. Sorry, Shiny, said Buddy. I thought I heard the dinosaur train whistle. Today was the day Dolores Tyrannosaurus and her daughter Annie were coming to visit Pterodon Terrace for the very first time, and Buddy couldn't wait. Buddy loved hanging out with Annie because they were a lot alike. Her hands have two fingers, and she has big green eyes and sharp teeth, just like me, Buddy told Don. And we both have good eyesight and a good sense of smell, he continued. We both like to run and play kick the cone. Tiny was excited for Annie's visit too. No one likes kick the cone as much as Annie does, Buddy said. You really like her, Don. That made Tiny feel a little sad. Did Buddy like Annie more than her? Just then, Don and Shiny grabbed Buddy and flew off toward the train station. They were so excited to meet the T-Rexes. Come on, they called to Tiny. As the whole Pteranodon family waited by the platform, the dinosaur train chucked into the station. Annie jumped out of the train car. Hi, Tiny! Hi, Shiny! Hi, Don! She yelled. And then, hey, Buddy! Rawr! Hey, Annie! Hi, too! Buddy replied, and then they tapped each other's fingers. Annie and Buddy both had on big, toothy grins. Whoa, said Don. He was watching as Dolores climbed out of the passenger car. She is really big, Buddy. Are you going to be that big some day? Maybe even bigger, Buddy replied. Rawr, said Annie as she elbowed Buddy playfully. Mr. and Mrs. Pteranodon took Dolores to see their home and Shiny led the kids to the dinosaur hopscotch court. But Annie suggested a game of I smell instead. I don't really feel like playing that, said Shiny. I think I'll just hang out with the grown-ups. Then she flapped off toward the nest. I love I smell, said Buddy. Annie explained the rules to Tiny and Don. Then everyone started to sniff around the clearing. I only smell leaves and dirt, said Tiny with a frown. And I just smell bugs, added Don, popping one into his beak. Buddy kept sniffing. I smell with my big nose these fruity smelling berries. Ding, 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 said Annie. You're right, Buddy. That's what I could smell. Tiny frowned as Buddy and Annie touched fingers for a high two. Why can't we play a game that Pteranodons can win? Tiny begged. The next game Annie picked was Kick the Cone. I knew they would pick that, Tiny said disappointedly. T-Rexes have big, strong legs. OK, Buddy, you count to five and we'll all hide, said Annie. When you find one of us, we all run to kick the cone. And remember, no flying. One, two, three, four, five. Buddy spotted Don behind a bush. I see you, Don, he shouted. They both took off running to be the first to kick the cone. Tiny came out from a hiding place and started running toward the cone too. Then, from the other direction, Annie came sprinting across the clearing. She kicked the cone and won the game. Tiny and Don were panting loudly. You run fast, Annie, said Don. And Buddy, how could you see where I was hiding? I guess I just have good eyesight, said Buddy. Don't feel badly, Don, Annie said. We T-Rexes have our eyes that face forward. That's why we can spot you so easily. Yeah, rah, we're T-Rexes. Annie and Buddy yelled out together. Can we please just play something else? Tiny pleaded. I don't want to play T-Rex games anymore. Tiny marched off into the woods. Don started to follow after her, but then he shrugged and headed back to play bug collectors with Buddy and Annie. Hey, Buddy, said Don. You haven't collected any bugs. What's wrong? I was thinking about Tiny, Buddy said. Something made her feel sad. Or mad, I think we should find her. 
Don, Annie and Buddy started to play Let's Find Tiny. They sniffed along the ground, following her tracks. Then the tracks stopped. She must have started flying. Buddy remembered Tiny's tiny place up in a tree. It was where she liked to go when she wanted to be alone. Annie spotted something green. It was in the hole of a tree, way up high. Don flew up to the hole, and there was Tiny. She couldn't believe everyone had come to find her. Tiny flapped back down to the ground. Then she apologised to Buddy and Annie for flying off. We're sorry too, said Annie. We should have played more games that Tyrannodons are good at. Back at the station, the Tyrannodon family waved goodbye to Dolores and Annie as the dinosaur train chugged away. I was afraid that if Annie was your friend, you wouldn't want to be friends with me anymore. Tiny told Buddy quietly. That's why I flew away. But you're my sister and my best friend, said Buddy. Think of all the special things we know about each other. Tiny knew Buddy was right. They both loved the dinosaur train and they both thought bugs tasted awful. Buddy even knew about Tiny's tiny place. They weren't the same species. But Buddy and Tiny were pretty much the same on the inside, and they would be best friends forever. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story, and I'll see you soon in another adventure. And kids, always remember to be good and kind. Bye for now. Thanks for watching and listening. Enjoy more stories at Dixie Storytime World on YouTube. We're also available on the Kids YouTube app.